Do you remember this game? If you were born around the year of 2000, you surely have played this banger. This was our Fortnite back in the day, our PUBG back in the day. We played this on our monitors that were the size of your goddamn mom. And there was a Windows XP bro. These times were banging. So to bring back the good old days, I've decided to remake this classic. The point of the game was to shoot at these space chickens, avoid the eggs and gather these presents to level up your weapon. And basically the point of the game is to gather as high a score as possible so you can tell your brother that he's a dumb piece of fucking shit. So I started by creating the project and going straight to making the spaceship. Uh, I kind of found the model online, so please don't sue me, uh, please. I made a simple movement script where you could move in any direction, I put my spaceship into the scene, I added in so-called space, uh, it was just plain. Now I needed a space bullet thingy and stop the claps everyone, I actually made this one by myself. Yes, I actually made something on my own. I added some global illumination and enabled the mission so it will glow. And then I instantiated the bullet on the transfer position of the spaceship, making it shoot. Blah blah, no one cares. Now, my biggest problem was finding a chicken model. Uh, I went online and googled chicken model. So, obviously the first thing that comes up when googling chicken model was an actual chicken. So I added it. Because realism. Now, I use this for testing and I'm going to change it later, so yeah. I'm not some chicken murderer, I don't actually, you, you're not going to actually kill real chickens, okay? It's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot better, it's, trust me, trust me. Now, I needed another chicken, and now this chicken needed to be my chicken boss, you know, you have, this is a mafia boss, you know, this is the greatest chicken you have ever seen, and because after every, I don't know how many rounds, there were this huge chicken in the game that acted like a boss. You needed a lot more of these space bullets to kill them. Uh, and I found this beauty of a chicken. Look at this thick fucking chicken. It's, it's bussin mate. Now I had to use this chunky boy. I had to use him. He was too good. Now after some testing, uh, a lot of testing, I managed to get the chickens into the scene and make them actually take the space bullet and die. Now, another feature from the game was if you kill a space chicken with your space bullet, you get a space chicken drumstick. Yes, if you kill a space chicken with your space bullet, you get a space chicken drumstick. And it gives you score, it rewards you. So I found this juicy looking drumstick and it's green. The chicken drumstick is fucking green. Yeah, but it, it's nothing we can't fix and now it's brown, tada, magic. Just act like it was dipped in some sauce, I don't know. It was dipped in, I don't know what, in your fucking mom. I added the drumstick and look at the size of those. What have I done? I actually polluted space for Christ's sake. After a bit of tweaking, I fixed them. Now, as you can see, the drumsticks are spawning and they're looking nice. But hey, wait, what's that? The drumsticks are actually spawning in the same direction, on the same position. Now, if you look at the actual game, that's not what happens. It all gets randomized and bounciness and I so I had to implement that too because it would actually give game would actually look a lot better. So how did I make that? I basically randomized the drumsticks rotation and it would spawn in different rotation every time I kill the chicken. So yeah. But now we just need to add gravity to them and add some juicy bounce and I needed to enable so I can pick up these drumsticks and eat them all. Now, it wouldn't be a game if the chickens could not fight back, so I'm finally going to add eggs. Now, look at the size of this fucking egg. Eggs have to be randomized as well. Now, this, this is where it got very interesting, because how do you randomize an egg, you ask? Be a, I'm, I'm, basically, I'm basically a programmer, so randomness actually gives the ch space chickens some advantage, because the player cannot predict where the next egg will drop. So how have I achieved that, you ask? So I made a function and in that function I assign an integer and it gives me a random range between 1 and 6. And in the update method I said if in that random range it picks out a number 1, say that it has done it and drop an egg. If, if it has done it, pick another number. And I invoke repeating in the start function. 
So it will work as for as many eggs as you want and it actually works flawlessly. Yeah, uh, 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 let me fix that. See, it all works flawlessly. Now, I needed to do the same thing with presents, but obviously presents have to be a lot more rare. It, the rarity has to change. So to change that rarity, I basically changed the, number, the amount of numbers it has to choose from. So it, it wouldn't be 1 through 6, it, it would be 1 through 45 or 35. So another problem is when I go pick them up, this happens. You're not supposed to collide with the presents, you, you actually should pick up the presents, you know, what, 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 what's the point of this? So I made them all collide with you, so now you can pick up the presents and you can get hit by eggs, and these two things are done. Now, how to make it so that every time you pick this present, it changes the style of your weapon you got? So, in the actual game, you, have, you start the game by having a one single shot. If you pick up the presents, you have a two bullet shot. If you pick up another present, that's a 3 bullet shot. So, my logic was this. I made an integer to show on what bullet you're on, and if you collide with the present, that gets increased by 1. And I made some if statements, and I made this fucking work. Look at this. No, 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 not this one. Next clip, next clip, roll the next clip. No, no, not, 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 not this one as well. Not, it took some time, but finally, finally, yes, yes. I made this fucking work. So, in the chicken invaders, there, there are these waves you have to go through. So there's like 30 chickens, then there's 5 chickens, there's then 5 chickens, and there's the boss scene. When you kill all the chickens, next wave spawns. And when I went ahead and made the new scene, this monstrosity happened. I was literally scared of eggs for a moment. I didn't know what the hell happened, but, but... All, all is fine, I just didn't add a script to it. My computer almost got on fire at the amount of these eggs because it was lagging like crazy. So now everything works, I added score and lives so you can finally know how bad you are doing. Now, let's be real. This game looks fucking shit. It honestly, it looks like the one from the 1990s was a remake of the game that was made in 1865. So we need to make this look a lot better. So we are finally adding space animating the chickens i can make it work so i added another model i made them move a little by doing a little animation i kind of like the animation it's nothing too complicated but it made it a lot more fun and the almighty post processing and i made a particle effect so you can actually uh, drop the feathers when you kill a chicken in space Fix the live so now it won't actually show the number, it will show the actual hearts and when you get hit the hearts are reduced so it looks a lot cleaner and I added every post-processing effect Unity has. And for the last thing, if you remember, I added a chunky boss. And the boss has health so it's actually pretty difficult to kill him. And the game is finally done. Uh, check out the full product and check out the new video on the screen Make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna be making bangers every week So make sure you follow me on everything and I'll see you in the next video